chapter 109, right? And it says here, 109, and among them also the queen of the south, take note of that, and among them also the queen of the south, being a witch, came in great concern and bowed low before me to the earth. And having heard my wisdom, she glorified the God of Israel, and she made formal trial of all my wisdom, of all love in which I instructed her according to the wisdom imparted to me. And all the sons of Israel glorified God, the Most High. Now, let's go back to Matthew 12. And we're going to go jump down to 40, 42. Right out of the mouth of Messiah. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Who's that talking about? Emmanuel. I, Emmanuel. Right? Let's go back to the Testament of Solomon. And let's go get Testament of Solomon. We're going to chapter 116. And we're not going to get all of this. We're just going to stop halfway through it. Uh, we're going to go to here. 116. And the queen of the south saw all this and marveled, glorifying the most high of Israel. And she beheld the temple of the Lord being built. And she gave it uh, cyclos of gold and 100 myriads of silver and choice bronze. And she went into the temple. Hmm. Didn't we just read that? Let's go back. 42, Matthew 12, 42. And the queen of the south shall rise up in her judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. So what did he tell these Pharisees? They were sitting there saying, oh, he's casting out. Emmanuel's casting out, you know, spirits in the name of Beelzebub. And he said, no, 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 no. Devils can't cast out devils because, they, you know, the king of the divided can't stand. He's like, I'm casting out devils by the spirit of the most high. And I know of, he's talking about. He knew what they were speaking of. And he's like, no. Nah. The one that's greater than Solomon is here. Who's that one greater than Solomon? They, we talked about it in the Testament of Solomon. Let's get Testament of Solomon. Let's go to chapter 122. One to right here. And I said to him, by what angel art thou frustrated? Note, this is a question. This is not saying that the, the Messiah is an angel. Okay. By what angel art thou frustrated? And he answered, by the only ruling God that hath authority over me, even to be heard. He that is to be born of a virgin and crucified by the Jews on a cross, whom the angels and archangels worship. He doth frustrate me and enfeeble me of my great strength, which has been given me by my father, the devil. So this is what the demon is telling Solomon here. So Solomon couldn't call on this in the hierarchy that he was calling on those demons because they were saying this is the one that's coming among men that's going to be crucified on the cross by the Jews. And here's his name. So, and another thing that I want to get. Now, we talk about the, uh, um, you can go into Hebrews, right? And it tells you that the Messiah was made not like the angels, made in, being made a little less than the angels so that he could suffer sin. Yes, that is correct. He was made like unto the son of man. But, his name did not change. That would take out the whole hierarchy invocation to cast out 
spirits and demons because they had to know who was coming. They known him from the beginning. They knew who he was. If he was given a different name, how would he cast out any of those spirits? They wouldn't even know him. But we already read in uh, first, uh, Mark 1 and uh, 24 that they knew him. And we're reading it here in the Testament of Solomon as well, too. So, also, now, some people are saying, well, no, Emmanuel's a sign. Emmanuel's a sign. Okay. Because sometimes I'm hearing some of this stuff now and it sounds like I'm, 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 I'm talking a brick from Anchorman. Because... What did it what did it clearly state in Isaiah 7 and 14? Let's get it. We always go back here. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive a very son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Right. So Matthew knew who this was talking about. How come you don't know? So, and with people saying, okay, this is just a sign. This is not actual, this is not a name. It's a, it's a sign. It's a, it's a sign. Okay. Well, here's the word name there. Okay. And there's Emmanuel there, right? Now, how come no one says that, uh, Gabriel's a sign. You never hear that. How about Michael? Is that a is that a sign? That's not a name. That's a sign. How about Uriel? Raphael? How about Serial? Rago? Remio? Are those signs? Are those actual names of archangels? And who is above them all? Emmanuel. Now, let's get something else real quick. Because guess what? Emmanuel is the same name as uh, I am, but just in a different tense. Let's find that out. We're going to. We're going to edification, uh, etymology real quick. Sorry. And I'm not going to focus too long on this because I'm going to actually put this in another video, but I'm going to jump down to the bottom. So we're here in uh, meaning of etymology of the Hebrew name Emmanuel, right? Looking at it. I man nawa Allah. I man nawa Allah with the I in. Okay. So we're jumping down to the bottom here because I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Short on time. And we see here at the bottom it says, and that means that. When God calls himself I am, he means that he is very busy doing his thing. The name Emmanuel, however, lacks the verb to be and denotes a passive presence of the most high. Emmanuel means God resides among us. The most high power resides among us or Sometimes you can see instead of resides, dwells among us. There was only one power that actually came down in the form of man to dwell with men. Gabriel didn't do it. Uriel didn't do it. They didn't. They came down, but they didn't dwell. They didn't walk and live. Okay. So, I think we're done for today. So, hopefully you got some uh, edification on that. Um, if you didn't, there'll be more in the future. Uh, have a good day. Shalom.